Then place a sheet of non-woven paper between the display and the keyboard to protect the display. Use the P5 pentalobe driver to remove six screws on the lower case. Lift the lower case by the suction handle. Insert one corner of an opening pick into the gap under the lower case. You should feel and hear the clip pop free. Both sides are opened in the same way. There are also two hidden clips at the location of the triangle icon, which can be opened by gently lifting the lower case. Lift the front edge of the lower case, do not lift as well high, and pull the lower case firmly like the direction of the arrow, away from the display hinge. To disengage the last two hidden clips. If you can't pull out with your hands, please put a plastic card to the position of the display hinge, hold the middle of the plastic card and fold it back with proper force like the direction of the arrow. In the meantime use your other hands to pull to remove the lower case. Remove the lower case. Use the spudger to flip up the small black locking tab securing the cable in its connector. Make sure the small black locking tab is open. Use the T5 Torx driver to remove the screw of the battery power connector and the screw of the battery board. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the screws of the trackpad cable connector bracket. Then remove the trackpad cable connector bracket. Disconnect the trackpad cable by gently prying its connector straight up from the logic board. Carefully peel the trackpad cable up off the battery and push it out of the way. Use the spudger to lift up the speaker cable connectors on both sides and disconnect them. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the three screws of the logic board. Use the T5 Torx driver to remove the two screws on both sides of the logic board and the five screws of the fans. Prepare alcohol, over 70%, or adhesive remover similar to the one in the video for removing the battery cells. Rubbing alcohol is easier to buy. You can buy it in a nearby store. Put a plastic card to the edge of the battery cell, slowly pour about 5 drops of alcohol along the plastic card, and slowly push the card to pry up the battery cell. Please be careful with the speaker. Don't squeeze too hard. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Repeat the above procedure to separate the other side battery cell from the upper case. Please be careful with the speaker. Don't squeeze too hard. Please be careful with the speaker. Don't squeeze too hard. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. There is a trackpad at the bottom of the middle battery cell, do not put alcohol in here. Put the plastic scraper card to the edge of the battery cell, and slowly push the plastic scraper to pry up the battery cell. Pry up the battery cell. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. There is a trackpad at the bottom of the middle battery cell, do not put alcohol in here. Please be careful to avoid damaging the trackpad. Pry up the battery cell. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Make sure the small black locking tab is open. The battery will be pulled out from the arrow position here. You need to lift the battery. The battery will be pulled out from the arrow position here. Lift and remove the battery. Please note the arrow pointing to the trackpad cable connector interface. Take out the spudger and plastic card. 
After removing the battery, use the spudger to shovel up the edge of the adhesive, try to keep the adhesive intact, then you can remove it completely from the upper case. Put the spudger and the plastic card inserted into the gap between the two fans and the logic board. The logic board will be lifted slightly. Pick up the new battery, adjust the position alignment and then put the battery down flat. You need to lift the battery. The battery will be put in from the arrow position here. Remove the spudger and the plastic card. Use the T5 Torx driver to install the screw into the hole. Slowly remove the clear protective film from the new battery. Lift up the two middle battery cells, tear off the adhesive paper film on the back of the battery cell, adjust the position and slowly put it down. Lift up the two middle battery cells, tear off the adhesive paper film on the back of the battery cell, Adjust the position and slowly put it down. Lift up the two middle battery cells, tear off the adhesive paper film on the back of the battery cell, adjust the position and slowly put it down. You can press the battery cell repeatedly to make the new battery fit tightly to the MacBook. Dial down the small black locking tap securing the fan cable in its connector. Make sure the small black locking tap secures the cable is closed. Use the T5 Torx driver to install the two screws on both sides of the logic board and the five screws of the fans. Use the T3 Torx driver to install the three screws of the logic board. Dial down the small black locking tap securing the speaker cable in its connector. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. Put the trackpad cable flat along the middle battery cell, align the trackpad cable with the connector socket and press it gently to fasten it. Put the trackpad cable connector bracket in place and use the T3 Torx driver to install the two screws. Press the battery power connector flat. Use the T5 Torx driver to install the screw of the battery power connector. Align the battery board data cable with the connector socket and slide it into its socket. Make sure the small black locking tab secures the cable is closed. Put the insulating sticker covering on the battery board. Cover the MacBook, then hold the lower case close to the display hinge area. Please keep a small gap and do not need to be completely close. Press the middle and both sides position of the lower case ensuring the buckle has been locked. Use the P5 pentalobe driver to install the screws on the lower case, and pay attention to the length of the screws. Thanks for watching.